Hey guys, it's me. Um, so this is two weeks after my ACL reconstruction surgery and I'm just posting this video to just inform you where I am in my recovery, in my rehab, etc, etc. So, um, yeah, so this is my leg right now. It's in a brace, as you can see. It's limited bending. And, uh, so the brace is all the way to the ear. It's almost my toe. And, uh, yeah, I'll just take out the brace and show you my recovery. Okay, I'm back. So this is my leg. It's... So these lines are not exactly like there. It was just from the brace. It's just... I've just been wearing the brace for a long time, as you can see. So my wounds are also pretty... Well, it's closing up pretty good at a really fast rate. So there's one ear. It's pretty big. One here, one here. So these two obviously are always there for every ACL reconstruction surgery. So these two are like a must. I've got one there and one on my side for the hamstring graft. So um so right after my surgery Yeah, sorry, hold on. Yes, right after my surgery I was um I wasn't I wasn't able to move my foot at all, like maybe to maybe just the toes. If I could, I wasn't able to lift my leg. My entire right leg is right now very weak. The muscles are very stiff. And uh, so I had to wear an immobilizer, which was, it would just keep my knee straight for like a whole week. I wasn't able to bend it. I, I wasn't allowed to bend it actually. So then um, after a week with the immobilizer, I then moved on onto the brace which I just showed you, which I'm wearing now. There's a little bit of bending in that, but not too much. So, I'm about to show you how much I can bend my knee. This is also with physiotherapy, of course. I've been doing physiotherapy for many days. Oh yeah, I think that's it. Can't bend it more than that. Oh, my aim is to reach 90 degrees. But as you can... Oh, and um, also during the ACL reconstruction surgery, um, I was also diagnosed with the, with the meniscus tear over a year. So um, I also had to get my... So my, my meniscus was, was soon over a year or so. Um, I don't know what to call it exactly, but yeah. Anyway, so it was that, and also an ACL reconstruction surgery, and um, yes. But thank God that the um, meniscus it it wasn't teared, it wasn't torn. Sorry, it it wasn't torn a lot. So yeah, that wasn't much of a problem, but I got through that. <laughs> so. Okay, I'm back. So this is my leg. It's so these lines are not exactly like there. It was just from the brace. It's just I've just been wearing the brace for a long time, as you can see. So my wounds are also pretty well. It's closing up pretty good at a really fast rate. So there's one here. It's pretty big. One here, one here. So these two obviously are always there for every ACL reconstruction surgery. So these two are like a must. I've got one there and one on my side for the hamstring graft. So, um, so right after my surgery, yeah, sorry, hold on. Yes, right after my surgery, I was, um, I wasn't, I wasn't able to move my foot at all, like maybe to, maybe just the toes, if I could. I wasn't able to lift my leg. My entire right leg is right now very weak. The muscles are very stiff. And uh, so I had to wear an immobilizer, which was, it would just keep my knee straight for like a whole week. I wasn't able to bend it. I, I wasn't allowed to bend it actually. So then um, after a week with the immobilizer, I then moved on onto the brace, which I just showed you, which I'm wearing now. There's a little bit of bending in that, but not too much. So. I'm about to show you how much I can bend my knee.
this is also with physiotherapy of course we've been doing physiotherapy for many days oh yeah I think that's it can't bend it more than that oh my aim is to reach 90 degrees but as you can see it's going nowhere with that so this leg um, so one of the main muscles which are very stiff are the um, calf muscles the hamstrings and also the IT band which is located from the knee to the hip bone so um, I would suggest that if you are also going or if you're doing the same surgery I would suggest physiotherapy after that and also make sure he's also a good one make sure he um, hits the calf muscles the hamstrings the quad and also the IT band which I just showed you right now and um, yeah I guess that's about it and um, I'm about to show you some some exercises which you all can do if you have this injury of course so 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 right after the surgery so right after the surgery you'd want to start with just moving your toes because that's pretty much you're gonna be in a lot of pain after the surgery so that's pretty much all you can do then you can start with your ankle movements it's really important that you try to just rotate and you know just get the blood circulation flowing then after that you're gonna have to move on to leg raises like that just raise your, your leg it's still a bit difficult for me but it gets easier so this is to start working out your your quadriceps and uh, yeah, then you do it sideways as well and uh, yeah, and then you have to just keep trying to bend as well, bending. Then you keep rotating circles as well. And then also another good exercise, so you keep your leg high and you try to bend it as well, like that. It's good for reaching your 90 degrees target, but also very, it's a very difficult exercise. And yeah. Yeah, so that's it. Um, that's all I have. And so, so for some of you who are about to go through the surgery, don't be scared. The surgery is actually like painless. You won't feel a thing because you'll be asleep. You'll be under anesthesia. So that's cool. Um, yeah, just brace yourselves and don't worry. Like I know I'll be soon pretty fast. And uh, also make sure that. Um, just make sure you try your best in your exercises. The exercises are very important for a quick recovery. And yeah, that's it.